Hello everybody, thank you very much for watching. In this video I'm going to try to connect dual screen setup with to my Galaxy Tab S6. And please note that uh, I just tried for a couple of minutes just to see if it's working. So apologies if this video is going to be too long and you have, believe me, you, you need to find the more important things to do than watch this video. But if you're going to watch it, I'm very, very happy that you're staying with me through this journey. So uh, Galaxy Tab S6 currently is connected to nowhere and I'm going to use the VAN link USB 3.0 to HDMI output. This is a display link adapter. So right and I do have the Wemaxit portable monitor here connected on the side. So right the idea is have the DeX running on this side and the tablet output on this side. Right, so let's grab, so HDMI cable, leaving the, I'm not sure if you can see, let me turn the camera a bit, here we go. So HDMI cable leaving the monitor, and we're just gonna plug that in here. So that's here. Next thing, uh, obviously power. So uh, this monitor gets the power from the wall socket, and I do have USB-C to HDMI hub there with extension cable connected for me to plug in into a tablet. So next thing, I'm going to plug this in into a hub, which is connected to, will be connected to my deck. So that's in there. Next thing is I need to sort the power power here. I just disconnected this. So we're going to try to connect the power back in. So give me two seconds. Come on, where are you? Oh, come on. Here you go. Power is in. Right. Okay, so the idea is this, I need to plug this in and now my ultra wide monitor should detect that I'm running DEX. Just give a second or so, hopefully. There you go, so I do have a DEX. I do have a DEX running, so that's fine. As you can see, DEX is working fine. Now, if I will start the presenter on a tablet display link presenter and I'm going to say detect the device it says display link presenter we really detected the USB free to HDMI adapter I'm going to say yes uh, start casting bingo I have the tablet so right now index I need to go in Dex open this up go into a Samsung Dex settings mouse keyboard flow point on the screen on the left hand side here yeah, yes and now if I use a mouse on this side if I go all the way this side I can use on a tablet what if I'm gonna close the tablet screen oh, ho, 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 ho. so tablet is the tablet screen is off yes so tablet is actually off so it's not using the the screen is not burning is not displaying anything but I do have option to you Oh no, please don't tell me. No, 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 no. Because I closed it, this connection stopped. Oh no. Yeah, I thought it's too good to be true. Okay, okay. So, tablet needs to be always open for signal to pass. Oh god damn this. That's not good. Anyway, so if we go to the browser. Close that, close that. I am on a Samsung Dex community page. So we're gonna say you go full screen, desktop version, full screen. So that's there. Okay, so this is this is fine. So it's powering from this device. I do have a Dex and I do have separate monitor running. Separate monitor running. Okay. But now the idea is this: if I go to my shadow PC. I'm going to connect to my Shadow Cloud Gaming PC. Let's close that. I read this in a video previously where I'm demonstrating the dual screen setup with Shadow PC and using the a separate device, something like this, the Pixel 1. But now I'm going to try to connect everything to work all off one device, which is my Galaxy Tab S6. So right now that's this and I do have mouse pointer. So I need to do, 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 do what I need to do, what I need to do. I need to wait for shadow to start and I need to start the um, zero tier. 
zero tier because zero tier I'm using to connect 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 all this into a single network so zero tier connect that so zero tier starting and duet display this is the Android app I'm going to use to connect so let's connect to shadow PC so at the moment shadow PC uh, client for me is sometimes works sometimes doesn't because I've been enrolled into a battle of configs um, test test group where they gave me a super powerful shadow PC computer with RTX graphics card Quadro 5000 I believe it's called so it's just sometimes it's connecting sometimes it don't so it's a bit of a hit and miss I'm disappointed that the one I'm covering the screen uh, good idea good idea but disappointing disappointing anyway okay so we are in shadow so let's close that let's see zero t is not running so let's go run zero zero tier I need to make sure zero t is running okay duet screen we're gonna close that because I need to run a new instance I found out that if I'm running duet do I display a host already on a shadow PC? I need to close it and start over again because it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. It's, it's a bit of a hit and miss, so rather just close it and start over again. Right, uh, 33 is my tablet IP address. So 33 is my tablet IP address. So if I go to do a display, I choose over the air. I'm going to say enter the manually, and it's 192.33. Click connect. Connecting, yes, 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 yes. Connection established, uh, adjusting resolution. Uh, okay, so we'll go to display settings. I do have two monitors. Let me see camera detects. Can I see on the camera? Yeah, uh, two monitors, one and two. Two is obviously the tablet, but tablet is the is display. Okay, so we minimize that. And we change resolution to 2560 by 1600. 16 1600 so that is the tablet screen resolution so right now i'm suggesting that resolution so it looks okay-ish on a tablet but not on the screen so we're just going to reduce back to 1900 by 1200 or something 19 1920 by 1200 this is 1920 by 1080p so the idea would be to match that but obviously the i do not have option between to change it Frame rate is giving me 30 FPS or 60 FPS. Let's change to 60 FPS. I'm not sure how high pixel perfect. So absolutely everything max on the settings. So if we're gonna go to this and we're gonna move it to the screen, here we go. I do have a, a separate monitor. So something Dex group. Page open up, that's fine. What if if I'm gonna shut the display now? Oh no, it doesn't show me anything. That's not good. And actually, I don't get anything now. Okay, back to direct display, direct display disconnected. Okay, 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 okay. Oh no, oh yeah, it's disconnected. Oh, I'm disappointed. I thought I'm gonna I, I, I'll be able to close the screen and then that's it and it's it's already gonna be because uh, I don't want a tablet screen always showing the the picture and it's right now can't connect because of uh, issues with the connection so I need to exit here exit here I need to kill the display on my tablet run display run display here let's go back to a shadow PC come on come on so is it running yes running okay so we're gonna start that here uh, disappointed the third is gonna work one nine two that's why I used the uh, pixel one in my previous video because I just I can leave this phone uh, of the phone screen constantly on it doesn't really bother me it's connection failed now I don't know something messed up uh. That's 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 not good. That is not oh, hold on. There is a 
there's another way I can demonstrate dual screen setup for you. So if I will just close all, we're back to DEX. So I do have DEX and I do have a, a mouse pointer on the other side because of a DEX a mouse pointer floater, whatever this thing is called. So if we're going to run Termux on here, and we're going to start Manjaro Linux, and we're going to start VNC server, VN, oh, I misspelled VNC, VNC server start. So VNC server starting ish. So that started. So we go to V and C VNC viewer. We're going to start the VNC viewer. We punch the password, which is very secure. It's WQE123. Remember my password. Click connect. Bingo. I am inside the inside the Linux. So I can try to go to settings and display and try to force resolution to it's already hmm it's already was a 1920 by 1080 1920 by 1080 let's leave 1920 by 1080 so i have a linux working running on this side information uh desktop size video quality picture automatic let's do automatic anyway i have a linux running on this side and obviously i can do have a dex on this side so i can go and with the mouse pointer on the dex side and run an app i don't know let's say run termux so run termux on this side and the linux running on that side and obviously i compare compare the sessions and whatnot uh, okay but i'm a bit disappointed that when i close in the 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 tablet screen the the display losing connection if you have any idea how to make the screen uh, to be off uh the tablet screen to be off and display these two it would be amazing thing because then i can finally like have for example shadow pc running on dual screen setup on like this this is um actually it's not bad not bad not bad so i do have the option for connection locks Let's try again. Uh, the portal is listening, connected, going to be contacted. Bringo. So something happened. <laughs> something happened, and I do not have the um, Linux anymore. Let me try to. Uh, uh, let's try to start again. So that's started. Let's go to VNC Viewer. Okay, connecting something don't want to work anyway. I messed up, <laughs> but this is this is not bad. This is let's say if you have like say S8, Note 9, S9, S10, Note 10, etc. This is could be a brilliant setup. You have your phone with displaying a text on one side and whatnot on another, another monitor. And uh, actually, it's not bad at all. What if I'm thinking now, what if I'll take my tablet? and I turn sideways yes okay so that's sort of working so I need to take the tablet or this monstrosity twist it this way okay okay so this is this way oh it's going for um, I press the buttons on the setting right and can tablet go this way oh no it's not supporting the uh, the vertical orientation oh, bugger. anyway was a good idea to try plus plus I can try one more thing if I put this back and let me find another cable I need one more USB-C cable okay let's pull the cable off my magic bag I plug this in into the can you actually see it yes plug this in into a side of the monitor there is a two connections on this monitor USB-C connection one is for power one is for touch 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 the um, inputs and if I plug that in into USB hub which is connected to my tablet plug that in here technically I should be able no hmm actually no it won't work uh, yeah uh, why I even thought it's gonna work anyway this is the dual screen setup for decks um, not bad 
uh, not a bad idea. I already tried a couple of similar configurations previously with uh, the HP Elite X3 Elite lab dock, where you can have a lab dock on the one side and your tablet on the other side. This is, could be a very useful uh, setup as well because you're gonna have two, you're gonna have like a two similar devices, one next to each other. So something like this. So if I put, okay, so as you can see, something like this. To have actually, this is. I stopped using that. It's just I don't know why. It's, it's I might might start using again. And um, this this that's what it is. Uh, so here we go. That is the setup of the dual screen. Um, like I said, if you know how to make the tablet screen go off uh, when uh, there is no like when I shut the cover. If you know how to do it, please let me know in the comment section below. I would like to go and try that out because this that will be a game changer and uh, obviously I will do update video. The idea is basically when I shut this, I want this to still be active. At the moment it's 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 allowing me to use a mouse on this side, but as you can see I can't do anything because the, the cover is shut, but if I open the cover and now I can obviously use this and without any problems. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts and let me know how to do this. And I'll see you next one. Goodbye.